Meghan is proud to have done the interview with Oprah. The royal family should give up hope of receiving an apology. Hello friends, welcome to the remarkable news of the royal betrayal couple, Harry and Meghan Markle, on our Kate Middleton and the Queen News version 2 channel. Following her and Prince Harry's shocking appearance with Oprah Winfrey, Meghan Markle has spoken candidly about her experiences, claiming she felt welcomed and friendly. In an interview with Variety, Meghan Markle talked candidly about her well-known conversation with Oprah Winfrey. The Duchess of Sussex told the outlet that despite harsh public criticism from some facets of society, she was received warmly in the days that followed. She said that she had attended the lavish birthday celebration for American journalist Gloria Steinem a few days after it had been broadcast and that Ms. Steinem had been gracious to her. The Duke's wife said, I never find it easy to enter a room by myself and I can recall feeling a little uneasy. But before I could let my doubt fester, Pamela Adlin approached me and gave me a kind and heartfelt greeting. As she led me through the space, I noticed more kindness and compassion at each stop. Maybe it's simply a reflection of the company Glow maintains, but I also believe that these women went above and above to make me feel so welcome. The Duchess said, It still means so very lot to me, and she knew precisely what I needed to feel at that moment. She came to the conclusion that her experience was a testimonial to the strength of female solidarity and sisterhood. One of the two instances the Duchess expresses warmth is when she talks about how she was treated following the interview. She also discussed her emotions as she thought back on Queen Elizabeth II. She claimed that a pleasant warmth characterized her interaction with the King. I thought back on our first engagement I had with her, how amazing that felt, she remarked. I'm grateful, and I still feel honored to have gotten along well with the family matriarch. It was said that Meghan's story was half-baked because she didn't tell the backlash days later. She said that in the days following, she was treated with warmth, despite fierce public backlash from some corners of society. Sure, and whole societies drowned in floods of tears. And then the fact-checking began, and many more were crushed under the weight of lies. You and Prince Dim have been exposed as venal half-wits. Megan was at Steinem's birthday party a few days after it aired, and Miss Steinem had treated her with kindness at the extravagant event. Of course, she and others there did because they're all on the same side. Megan was invited to the party to change Steinem's adult diapers, considering when we saw them together in New York, Steinem didn't look like she was with it. A few days after the wine fest on Oprah interview, some of the lies had been exposed, but the rest came out after that period of time. Interesting how these jokesters she knows don't take all the proven lies into consideration. Then again, these are the same women who will blindly accuse a man of abuse with zero evidence to prove it. I'm just waiting for migraine to hop on me to move next. She's always got some story that she makes up to fit in with whatever other whiners are complaining about. One observer revealed that with Megan's intellect, she would probably think that way. There are many reasons for the people around her to treat her warmly. Lots of people earned money from that interview, not just Oprah, of course, they were nice to Megan. She's become a cash cow to her employers. These people are all linked to business deals. Even Spotify guests aren't given a choice to go on her shows. They are under contracts that make them. There's so much venom inside of her. She blames the world for her lack of talent and brain when she should be celebrating the fact that she has found her soulmate who also lacks talent and gray cells. Megan said the biggest misconceptions about her. I think that what happens looking in from the outside when there is this much noise is that you become dehumanized. But if you remember that someone is a human being, then you don't treat them, talk about them or look at them the same way. My hope for archetypes is that people come out thinking, oh, she's a real person. She laughs and asks questions and approaches things with curiosity. Strange that she doesn't treat her ill father like a human being, nor William nor Kate. 
or the king and his wife. Everyone is a human being except the one she wants to insult. The woman is insufferable. One spectator commented harshly, stay in America. I can assure her majority of the public here would not then and not now. The absolute rubbish in that interview has been debunked as untrue and proven to be untrue. They will never be forgiven here for their treatment of our late queen. Harry and Harry do not count as a warm welcome. She needs to stop. She trashed Harry's family while Prince Philip was on his deathbed and ignored the queen when she was in England days before her death. Shameful. She truly needs Harry's better up firm. Meghan is so proud of herself, but doesn't know that the whole world is looking down on her as a psychopath. Of course, people feel pity for a sob story in which she is so good at acting out and many people fell for all her lies spontaneously. The woman doesn't have any sense of decency or morals, but lives on her wits. The more you listen to her twisting and turning the truth, she shows her truth, vile nature. It is said that Gloria is a has-been feminist, and so are her friends. And Markle was a very pregnant woman at that time. Who cares what she remembers? She is being shunned in the A-list communities and everywhere else because decent people don't like people who bash their relatives in public. The warmth Meghan felt from those around her after creating a huge shock to the royal family was likened to the warmth she had when she went public about her relationship with Harry. She was greeted with warmth by the British people until she showed us her true character, a social climbing, gold digger, bully, and self-serving liar. The woman told several provable lies. She even gave a different version to her husband on one matter and Oprah lapped it up. A lady who is supposed to be a journalist never questioned a word of it. She just went tabloid lap it up mode. One insider said, Harry and Meghan may have got a warm reception from the shallow US celebrity community, but not getting invitations to big celebration like Obama's birthday and the Beckham's son's wedding tell another story. Hell will freeze over before she gets a genuinely warm welcome from most in the UK. Propaganda paid for by Meghan Markle. She puts out the money and the journalists write whatever she tells them. She's been proven to do this time and again. Check this out for yourself. What do you think of Meghan Markle's unrepentant attitude about Oprah Winfrey's interview? Let us know your thoughts below in the comment section. We hope you found this video helpful. Don't forget to leave a like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you like it. Thank you for watching this newsletter. See you in the next videos. Goodbye.